Hey everybody, Pastor Joseph with your daily spirit lift today. It is a chilly November morning, the November of, uh, the Monday rather, of uh, Thanksgiving week. And uh, it is a beautiful day up here on the hill. Uh, you can see some beautiful sight. Just the sun is shining, a little cool. But uh, this Sunday starts the church season of Advent. And uh, Advent is a time, it, it sort of is the, uh, the time that we offset before Christmas. It's sort of like Lent before Easter. And uh, what Advent does is we prepare for the coming of Jesus, uh, both in history 2,000 years ago and in our hearts today and at the end of time. And... Uh, one of the things I noticed a couple years ago about Advent was that I had a hard time around this time of year getting ready for Advent because and Christmas because there's so much going on. I heard on the radio this morning that uh, Friday or Saturday was the biggest travel day since the pandemic started. And uh, there's so much going on. There's so many radio ads trying to get you into the mood. Uh, there's so many Christmas songs. I hear them all over the place now. And um, it was very hard for me a few years ago to get into an Advent space. And uh, my spiritual director said to me, um, when we were talking about some of these things, she said that uh, Advent and Christmas is internal. And I think that's largely right. If you can carve out a space in your own mind, in your own spirit, in your own heart. That is how you prepare for Advent. The things you do physically are important. The things you do externally are important, treating your friends and family with kindness. But this can be a very draining time of year. Um, just trying to get all the dishes on the table at the same time. That constantly amazes me. I'm terrible at it. Uh, my grandmother used to do it every year. My mother used to do it every year. My wife and, and uh, my mother-in-law do it every year. It's amazing, but it ain't easy. And uh, those things sort of multiply at Christmas and Advent time. And sometimes we're fighting against ourselves. We're fighting against perfection. We're fighting against the rules. So if you get some time, um, and this doesn't apply to everybody. Some people aren't wired this way, and that's true with most of my spirit lifts. Uh, this advice is for, uh, for people. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Um, but carve some time out for yourself. And I don't mean, you know, go play tennis. Uh, I don't mean take a hike in the woods, as good as that might be. Carve some time out for yourself and God. Talk to God. Spend some time, maybe uh, take one line of scripture that you know. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Or something uh, from the words of Jesus. Maybe the Lord's prayer. And take that and uh, sit with it. Five, ten minutes. And see if you can carve out some time. You know, the days are getting shorter. Sunlight is getting shorter. Sometimes uh, it seems like uh, the, the, uh, the darkness is closing in. But that's part of Advent too. Jesus is the light. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. What does that mean to you in your heart? All right, mask up. Be safe. If you have to travel, be very careful. I love you all. I miss you all. We'll talk to you soon.